Austin Uke Society one? Yeah, the Austin Ukulele Society. Yeah, I missed the, the time after time one, but I usually... Oh, okay, well, that's... I wasn't there either, but I happened to know the song, so <laughs> that's why I decided it. Sometimes it seems like a good idea, if you do know it, to do that one, because everybody else might have been there, and, you know, it'd be a song they knew. Yeah, they'd be more likely to know it if Bob Goose had just done it. So that was my theory on that subject. <laughs> we'll, we'll see, one, how good a job I do, <laughs> and two, whether anybody really <laughs> likes it all that much. Well, I liked it, but the main reason I learned it was because it was about time, and I was doing a, a series of time songs for another group that I was part of, and I was doing a time song every week, and we were having a study of the subject of time. And that was one of the songs I picked to do. So uh -huh. that's how I'm I wound up learning it. But I think I used the same old um, Cindy Lauper VD, uh, video that Bob Goose used. Hey, Paul, did you get my backstory on my song? Uh, yes, I did. Uh, but I didn't what? look at it. <laughs> Uh, Sorry. What is your song, Kent, and your back story? <laughs> uh, it's House at Pooh Corner. Ah. Oh, Jeff's an uh, airplane. I think <laughs> I've heard of that the one. <laughs> yeah, Jeff's an airplane. No, the book. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mary Jane, I'm sorry I dropped the ball on the time theme. I thought that was a great theme, and I went only two weeks before I ran out of steam on it, but oh well. <laughs> So, so you're one of the people that is sick of it. Is <laughs> no, I just uh, I was going to play some time songs of my own, but I in, oh, in the end, oh, I only okay, the the time theme. Yeah, well, I wasn't necessarily trying to get a time thing started, although I do have a bunch of time songs because of that. Um, that series that I learned, and I even found the song that you did, uh, the Pink Floyd song, and I realized how I just never got around to learning it. You know, it, I think I just didn't know it well enough. I would have had to listen to Pink Floyd many, many times on the computer. And, <laughs> And I just couldn't bring myself to do it then, and, and I couldn't bring myself to do it now either. I understand. It, I, I love that song, but it's uh, not a perfect fit for ukulele. I thought it was okay. Yeah, well, you did a good job. Well, you do a good job of everything you play. Oh, thank you. Anybody remember Time Has Come Today by the Chambers Brothers? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I was shooting for that, songs where the title was just time, not just time. Ah, yeah. Okay. Well, that's... I only had three that I knew, and I only played two of those. So maybe I'll get around to the third one someday. I've got one that a friend of mine wrote that's called "Time, Time, Time," and I. I may get around to playing it, but it's one that requires quite a bit of practice, and then nobody would know it because this guy wasn't nationally famous or anything. I think the birds beat him to that title, though. Yeah. Oh, that, was, that was Turn, 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 wasn't it? Turn, yeah. turn, oh, that's right. It was Turn, Turn, Turn. Turn, Turn. turn what about turn, Parsley, turn. Sage, Rosemary, and Time? Does right, that count? Right. I, well, I, I really wanted to do a time <laughs> spelled that way, but I, I didn't find one that I liked. And like I said, I was restricting myself to songs where the whole title was just one word. So ah. I, I did not find a song called Time spelled that way. What's a Rolling Stones song that has, you know, uh, the well, word I'm song? I'm on my side. Uh, time, time, time is on my side. Yes, it is. Whoa, time. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's a young no person more, no song, more. I have to tell you. <laughs> Get a little current carried a lot away of there. After what what is there. going on? <laughs> What's going on? Nobody knows. We're all having we nervous breakdowns. Right one called "We're Running Out of Time." <laughs> really? You missed me singing 
Time is on my side by the Rolling oh. Stones. But uh, I don't, uh, Paul aptly pointed out it's not. <laughs> I don't think it's in their singing repertoire anymore, is it? I doubt it. That would be kind of weird. <laughs> I thought that Mick Jagger sold his soul to the devil. So many years ago. So he'll he'll live forever, right? Right. Mick Jagger and Keith Richards both. Yeah. No, that was actually Keith Richards. They'll come out in their walkers for their next concert. <laughs> yes, it is. Yeah. <laughs> well, I heard that they found uh, some sort of a mix that is going to make dogs live longer. Did you see that on the news? No. Do they no. have some sort of, I don't know. A new dog food or is it more it's like Where that. they're adding life to years to a dog's life. Um, How do they do that? But. But then they said, maybe we can do it for ourselves. <laughs> so we'll probably start barking or we have to eat dog food. Or <laughs> oh. we'll be PBS yesterday. With our, with our legs. <laughs> are we ever going to see Brenda's face? Eventually. Where are you, Brenda? I'm here. I'm there, here. There, she is. <laughs> there you are. Worth the wait. How's your foot? Yeah, I'm just. Uh, it's been a day, <laughs> but I'm here now. How's your foot? How's your foot? Oh, it's still attached. That that's about all I can say. Uh, I finally got a shower today with some assistance. <laughs> it was wondrous. <laughs> Uh, ten. I don't recommend going ten days without a shower. Oh dear! Oh no! <laughs> you I find mean, out who real friends are, are Brenda. Right. Well, yeah, baby, baby wipes are great, but they can only go so far. <laughs> well, at least you've got short hair. <laughs> yes, yes. So when I uh, broke my back, I went a long time without a shower because it's like take you to the hospital, do some surgery, you recoup for a while, and it. There's a lot of rehab before they're like, okay, I think you're ready for a shower. Oh, but it's nice. Put you in on a gurney and a in a plastic tub and shower you off, and it was like, yeah, it felt oh. really good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. Well, I didn't quite need a gurney, but I did need a knee walker and you know uh, some assistance in wrapping the the extremity so it doesn't get wet because doctor said no 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 you can't let it get wet so anyway we're going to see the doc tomorrow and we'll see how it goes good luck yeah okay, good luck well no wonder you he let you take a shower since you're going to see him tomorrow <laughs> <laughs> well i mean i've had this shower in the works for like three weeks it's just taking them that long to find somebody to come out and do it oh goodness you know it's like Damn. I'm with yeah, Christine. Really. I think the timing is conspicuous. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I told them last week, I said, you know, I really would like a shower this week, but if you just can't manage it, I have to have a shower next week because I'm going to see the doctor. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and the poor, poor guy doesn't need to wear a clothespin on his nose to, <laughs> to look at my foot. <laughs> Well, you can always come to our Zoom meetings without a shower. You're totally <laughs> That's welcome. True. That's true. Well, I appreciate that. That's probably for the best. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was so desperate for, for some sort of clean. I, I stood on one leg on at the kitchen sink and washed my hair, <laughs> okay, oh, before, before I got the bath thing going. Because, by God, if I can't get anything else clean, I can get my hair clean. <laughs> so, uh, it took a while, but by God, it got clean. Anyway, shall we play music? Well, if you insist. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
I'm going to go first. Good. Ah, Mardi Gras. Happy Mardi Gras. Oh, happy Mardi Gras. Mardi Gras. Everybody know that? Oh, yeah. It's well, strange. I have some friends who so go early. there yeah. every year to do a float thing. I don't actually know what they do down there other than ride on the float. I guess they build the float. I don't know. Anyway. They yeah, throw I've beads. Been, I've been seeing them on, yeah, throw beads. I, I had we a went parade to, in San Marcos. I don't think we had one in Austin. I don't know. My nephew had a wedding there, and, and he had, like, that whole parade. And they put the grandmas on, on the carriage, and, and they had people playing tubas, and we're all dancing. It wasn't during Mardi Gras, but I guess any chance to have a parade there is a good thing. Anyway, Paul, take it over. Take it away. So now that it's not February anymore, my wife thought I should learn a march. So I did. <laughs> she... Uh, she even suggested this march, and as I was learning it, I was thinking about uh, Ukraine. Every time I played it, I was thinking about Putin, and you know, every time he comes on TV, he says, you should leave me alone as I invade Poland, I mean uh, Ukraine, and um, by the sleep. way, I have enough nuclear bombs to blow up the entire planet, Right. so I'll dedicate this to Putin. Can you do the you <laughs> what, what, you do... what was the name what's the name of that actually? It's it sounds familiar. It's the march of something. Darth Vader's it's the, theme. Yeah, oh, it's yeah. the Imperial March. Yeah, yeah it's the, the Imperial okay. March, but it's okay. often known as Vader's yeah. theme. I okay. like the Freudian slip about invading Poland. <laughs> uh. that, that's just a slip back to nineteen thirty nine. Right. <laughs> What? Yeah. Have well, we been here before? What are you talking yeah, about? We're going. It's like deja vu all over again. Yeah. Well, that's such an ominous sounding song. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, it's beautiful, it is. but it's, it's very ominous. You should have played the Ukrainian national anthem. Yeah, but I had already learned this song before I figured out that connection. <laughs> <laughs> it was appropriate, Paul. Was I was really listening that today, listening to that today. See if I might play that, but it's that's beyond me right this yeah, minute. Not knowing the theme, the Ukrainian national yeah. anthem. Yep. You don't know it. It's probably pretty complicated. Yeah, I don't yep. know it. Walter, you want to go next? Okay, you can bring my song up. Uh, I think I've got it here. Let's see. Not that one. Uh, what is, oh, here it is. Okay. This is a song from the 1920s. I actually played this at a meeting once, but I don't know, don't know if uh, we actually saw the music. At a, <laughs> oh, sorry. Wrong and 
gets the blues now and then, they don't know what to do. I've had it happen many times to me, so have you. Now this feeling's gone and past, past. I find out what to do at last. Ever I feel down and out, you can hear me shout, oh. slow to unmute but yeah i remember that song i was about to ask before you play it did you play it for an in-person meeting or a zoom meeting actually i can't remember what, what i did uh all i know is i did it during beer time uh well that was a great song i it like it good. Yeah. sounds like a mardi gras song doesn't it yeah kind There's of lots. they play jazz in new orleans i think right <laughs> i <laughs> think so <laughs> All I need is a tuba, really. Right. Oh, a tuba would be great. It's hard to play a tuba and a ukulele at the same time, though. <laughs> the kazoo fits a lot better. Hey, could you do it for the instrumental part, just the tuba? Yeah, but you'd have to like, put down the ukulele and right, put on and the yeah. tuba. Cause... Oh, yeah, that's true. I forgot about putting it on. We're not talking about real tubas, right? We're talking about sousaphones, I think. But anyway. Either one, I'm going to give you the same problem. That's true. You're right. Mary Jane, you want to go? Okay. What do you want to play? Um, I'll, I'll play time after time. All right. Do you think she knows she's muted? Is she? Yeah, yeah. I was wondering when she was going to start. Yeah, sorry. I, um, you know, it's because I, I could have tuned earlier, but the trouble is I put a new string on and this string always goes out of tune. It's okay. like I just got a tune right before. Like I a new string like always like does. Yeah, well, <laughs> okay. Well, this is, um, Time After Time by Cindy Lauper, and this is the, actually the Bob Goose version. If anybody was there last Thursday night or downloaded it or anything, it's pretty much exactly the same version that he did. And the only change I'm going to do is when I get to the end, he decided to only do the the four chords. He was on and sing Time After Time he was going to do them four times instead of six. And so I'm going to do a kazoo break in, in the beginning and then sing all the time after times. And of course, this is assuming I remember what I just said. <laughs> but here, here it goes. You know, we're going to start out with this uh, four beats, which correspond to the kind of flashback warm nights, only a little bit slower than that. Thank you. 
right near the end that was an excellent oh. fade yeah <laughs> well that's one thing i remembered to do <laughs> <laughs> it's a pretty pretty melody i love Very those nice. songs um, yeah mary jane we were talking about your time theme for your other group that alan parsons song i think is a really great time song if you haven't already done it for them and well it's over with this was several years ago oh, that i did this okay. <laughs> So unless we're going to do some kind of time thing, you know, I've, well, I've got... go back to him and you tell him you figured out a new one. Go back in time. Well, so what was the name of the Alan Parsons yeah. song? Time. Just plain time. Yeah. Oh. Well, I thought you said you couldn't find one that had time. Listen to it. <laughs> I said I could only find three, and oh. I couldn't find any that had it spelled T H Y M E. Okay. <laughs> Or oh, something a little spicy, right? One. There, there are a bunch that have just the normal word "time" as the only word in the title, but there were only three that I knew, and only two that I played. But the Alan Parsons song I liked a lot, and it was not—it it felt like a pretty good fit for the ukulele. Yeah. I mean, so have you played it for this group yet? Maybe or do you three or four to? weeks ago. A few weeks ago, you did. Yeah. Well, I couldn't live up to whatever you did. <laughs> there's, there's Time is Part by Bricker T and the MGs. What was that, Booker T? Time is Tight by Brooker T and the MGs. Time is what? Tight. Tight. You need oh, an organ yeah, note for that. that. Well, you know, you're going to have to strum really hard for that one. <laughs> Well, like I said, I'm not actively seeking time songs anymore. I just happen to have a collection of them from this other incident, and I haven't done them all, but one of them kind of fell into great disrepair, the one by my friend, and <laughs> and I can only play it on the baritone ukulele, too, because it uses bar carts and goes up the neck, and some of the cards that it hits, I don't know how to play <laughs> on the ukulele. <laughs> and I wouldn't want to do anything but the sliding. It's kind of like Christine did the sliding bar card thing on the ukulele once. And this one works on the baritone, but not the regular ukulele. Marty, you right, have a song? That's a really, really good song. But it's like really a lot of changes really fast. I was just... <laughs> well, yeah, that there there's one particular area where it changes real fast. The thing that's weirdest about this song is that where they just it just falls off in what he calls the pre chorus one, the second grouping of, of chords. It says time after and then she never says this the last time and, and goes on to the next verse and that seems like a real weird thing for a car a song to do to me <laughs> well the lyrics are constructed that way it's like the beginning of a phrase and then you go immediately into the next phrase yeah I, well I like yeah it. i see what it is i just don't necessarily like it but oh, i learned boy. to do it and bob picked it up too you know he didn't try to change it so Oh, no. I guess if you do the song, it's just when part of the song. the song. I I like the way it grabs your attention when something yeah, gets too. truncated like that or whatever. You know? <laughs> it's like, 
It's like changing a three four for just one bar, you know? It's like... Yeah, yeah, I guess so. Well, I have one for you with time. Oh. It goes like time and do and cilantro. Cilantro. <laughs> time and do and cilantro. Cilantro. I don't know the rest though. Cilantro. It's gotta be she's writing it on the uh, pepper. I and I don't know. <laughs> right. Anyway. I like it. That's great. I'll try to perfect that one. Yeah. Thank you. Right. I have to go get my battery. This this ran out and I can't hear you, so I have to run for my cord. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Modern technology. All this wireless stuff is constantly run out of charge. Oh, Brenda's gone. Now Brenda's, Brenda's back. back. <laughs> now she's gone. Now she's, she's back. playing peekaboo. <laughs> Yeah, now you see her, now you don't. I mean, I'm expecting the groceries they forgot to put in the uh, the the uh, car when I ordered groceries today. And, uh, you know, I have to arrange my environment so I can leap up and get to the door within five or ten minutes. <laughs> so. <laughs> I'm picturing so. leaping up with a broken foot. But, yes, okay. Don't leap. Yeah, I well, we, we, why we, you ended up with a broken foot. We don't have a broken foot. We've never had a broken foot. Oh, we have just, a tendon problem in the back of the foot. Oh. That's the problem. All right. And uh, no, we won't be actually leaping up anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> but I have to arrange my little scooter, my knee scooter thing, so I can actually get on it and get to the door before they, you know, drive off. <laughs> No, Brenda, so, you could just get a knee scooter and forget about the surgery. If you really want to use a knee scooter. Oh, I've got one. No, I no, I'm one. kidding. Yeah. I mean, yeah. if, I, I was just messing with you. You know, you said you were <laughs> using your knee scooter. I was saying you can just get a knee scooter and forget about the surgery part. Ah, okay. Surgery. Well, a little late for that. Good <laughs> luck. <laughs> just a bit. Marty, I asked a second ago, but I didn't hear an answer. Did you? Do you have a song? I tried to answer you, and it, apparently I didn't get above the din. Uh, no, I don't have anything today. All right. <laughs> Sorry. You're forgiven. You can sing my song, Marty. Oh, Christine's volunteering. Excellent. I don't have it. I haven't been practicing it. No, no, no. I, well, I have to get Tom because he's he's going to do a special appearance. Oh. All right. I can't, do it yet. I can't do it yet. Okay. He's downstairs drinking. He's trying to get up the courage. Oh, like Tell him to drink quick and had a lot of it. <laughs> It'll help. <laughs> I'll call him. Wait, let's see. <laughs> hey, Tom. Now I just have a picture of Tom staggering up the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we can go have someone else go first. Okay. okay. Gary Goble is right next to you on my screen, so I think that means he volunteered. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so last week, this, uh, the chord family, was it you, Christine, that said you made up songs by playing the chords in it? Oh, talk? yeah, yeah. So I picked it up, and I semi-arbitrarily picked the F, you know, and then... Then I realized that was I Shall Be Released by Bob Dylan. So oh. that's how I got to here. <laughs> yeah. All right. If I zoom out that far, can you see it? Yeah, I can. All right. You're the only one that matters. But I'm not going to be looking at it. So. <laughs> oh, all right. Gary, what's the uh, CAA FAFG on the, uh, in the parentheses? Paul, Paul will explain that. <laughs> I will. Uh, I, I don't know, but there are the same number of syllables per phrase as in the song itself. So I don't know what they are other than that one clue. I was uh, kind of guessing that those were the notes of the melody, but they're not the notes of Dylan's melody. They might be the notes of a harmony that goes with the melody or an alternative melody. But I would suggest you just ignore those. <laughs> 
Oh, I can only ignore them. <laughs> Say everything can be replaced Yet every distance is not near So I remember every face Of every man who put me here I see my light come shining from the west unto the east. Any day now, any day now, I shall be. Every man needs protection They say every man must fall And yet I swear I see my reflection Someplace so high above this wall I see my light come shining from the western to the east. Any day now, any day now, I shall be Standing next to me in this lonely crowd Is a man who swears he's not to blame All day long I hear him shouting so loud Crying out that he's been framed I see my light come shining from the west unto the east any day now any day now I shall be released yes and any day now any day now I shall be released nice. So I'll admit that I didn't know that song before today but um, I googled wow. it because Gary had specifically asked about those parenthesis Parenthet parenthetical letters, parenthetical yeah. letters. Anyway, um, it seems like those are the lyrics, at least the first verse that the band saw, sang, and Dylan had some other verses, I guess, right? Or at least started with a different verse. I uh, got me. I, I this is the only way I've ever heard it. Uh, Jack Johnson does a good version of it. That yeah. I've I never seen any it. other words other than Gary's. Yeah, well, maybe I remember the recordings wrong that I listened to. Oh well. But anyway. well, Dylan never does the same thing twice, you know. So. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, I gotta tell you, I, can I go next now? Sure. Now that you did that. Now that I've set the bar. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. It's, 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 I'm gonna be below you, Gary. Don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah. um, Not unless you limbo. <laughs> this morning, I was just noodling around. I just love noodling with chords, and I'm gonna. See if I can do this. And I was playing with uh, progressions uh, up the uh, the the uh, in the F scale, and that, and you fit right in there, because.
that's the one chord. Let's see, and then that's the two chord, two minor. That's the A minor, which is the three chord. Let's see, oh, I got to go B flat. Yeah, B flat. Let me just start over again. Just you can, and then you can just rock it back and forth and stay in that same key. Everything sounds good. Yeah. And it's funny you came up with that same song. It's basically pretty close to the same progression, you know. Well, I, I did the same thing. I think Christina mentioned that she just makes up words to when she yep. plays it. And I started doing it and it was like, oh, wait, that's Bob Dylan's. I shall be released. So, yeah, <laughs> it's it's like you, we noodle it along and all of a sudden, hey, hey. I recognize that. Right. <laughs> Thank you for that, yeah, Gary. That was great. <laughs> that's funny. But yeah. isn't that one that was the it said G minor? Isn't that a B? Isn't that a B, B minor, or uh, there's I don't a know. I got flat, but not you had a G minor in there. Yeah, yeah, there's a G minor, which is. So what? What are the frets for the G minor? It's like zero, two, three, one, right? Correct. Two, three, one. Yeah. What? Oh well, Tom is drunk enough now to help us. Help me. Go for it, so, Tom. You right, can't Tom. make him a. But now you he's can't. eating chocolate. He's eating you chocolate. can't make him a. He's not going to be as good as <laughs> Tom, you can't make a mistake. <laughs> I'll have a, yeah, really. <laughs> this is the easiest song you could ever play, but it's a Mardi Gras song. So I thought it would be appropriate, but anybody can play this song, even me. Wait, oh, okay. I can't live with the stuff I use, don't you just know it? Baby, don't believe I wear two left shoes, don't you just know it?
job, Paul. <laughs> Okay, that's a great call and response song, song, isn't it? Yeah. yeah that's a fun song. <laughs> Tom, it sounded like your mouth was like full of chocolate or something. <laughs> <laughs> but he didn't make any mistakes. Oh, that's oh, true. He's, got, he's off to cook dinner. <laughs> you could, you could oh, not okay. ask for a better performance, I'll have to say. <laughs> that's one of those call and response ones. It's like Daniel yeah. Smith and, and the Clowns. You know, I love that song. I didn't do it justice, but you know, oh, yeah, we only yeah. practiced once, so. <laughs> That's a but you classic got... call and response format. We're gonna have to get Tom to cook us up a meal. We all travel over to your place and yeah. have yeah. a big meal. Oh yeah. Crash yeah. your place. You're smelling real good. You keep, you keep talking <laughs> about Tom and eating, and it's like sounded pretty good. Well, don't forget the drinking. Yeah. That, that too. <laughs> Down there. It's part of it's like Julia Child, you know. He Ooh, he thinks that's part wine. of the whole thing. Yeah, so one of the contributors on these videos says, "I love to cook with wine, and sometimes I put it in the food." Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a person after my own heart. Uh <laughs> uh, Brenda, do you think you have time before your food arrives to uh, sing us a song? I will try. All right. I expected them an hour ago, but, you know, they'll, it's all right. They'll show up mid-song, no doubt. Yeah, they will, I'm sure. Okay, here we go. Is This is a retread, but it's best I can do at this point. Okay. All that lonely and familiar faces, a woman That's a beauty. <laughs> That's, That's really pretty. Thank you. It's a great song. Thank you. An appropriate song. So, <laughs> I was a teenager in the 80s, and you would think that the first thing that comes to my mind when I hear that is the uh, Tears for Fears version, but... Yes. Uh, what's his face on that competition singing song? Really did a great job of it. I don't know. Probably America, it America's Got Talent? Uh... Something no, like that. Idol. American Idol. American Idol. It was. Yeah. Well, was... you know, that's a th that's that was also in the movie Donnie Darko, which is a very very strange little movie. Uh, um, of movies... I love the words to that song. I, yeah. I love the words and and the chords. Really it's a great song all the way around. You know, yeah. and I think like you know it's good to repeat 
Brenda, because you're you're doing it better each time. You know, I one would I hope. <laughs> yeah. It sounded really good, Brenda. Yeah. It did. I can't think of that guy's name. Who is the guy? Do y'all know who I'm talking about? That sang it on American Idol or whatever? No idea. What? Okay. No idea. I've never watched American Idol. Ever. Adam Lambert. Does that ring a bell? No, I've heard of him, but I've never watched American Idol. Well, you should Google his version of that song, because I assume you're okay. singing it from the Tears for Fears version, right? Yeah. Yeah. Basically, you should you should listen to the Adam Lambert. Song okay, I version. will I will do that. He's really it good. It might be a, a, a wondrous thing. <laughs> I, this is off topic, but the the title of this song always makes me think of that movie from the late '60s. It's a mad it's a mad, 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 mad mad world. world. Yes. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Michelle was totally, telling me totally different feel. Right. Was yeah. <laughs> Michelle was telling me today that the In-N-Out Burger always planted X-shaped palm trees to to sort of mimic the dub, the oh, giant W yeah. at the end of that movie. Yeah, that's hilarious. That's really weird. <laughs> if y'all haven't seen that movie, you should definitely go watch it. Right. What the Mad 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 World? So, there's four Mads at least. Right? <laughs> four Mads. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Everybody was in it. Every. Well, yeah. everybody was in it. Yeah, right. The everybody of the were... time. Right. Well, and if you remember, it was one of those um, 180 degree theater cinema. Yeah, cinema. Right. Cinerama. Cinerama. Yeah. Cinerama. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yes. All right. I'm not old enough to have seen it in the theater. I only saw it on TV as a kid, and I've, I've rented it a few times since then. But I've never seen it on that. I've never, that never been to amazing. a theater like that. I guess. <laughs> But anyway, yeah, that was a great movie. One of my favorite movies. And right about the same time, maybe two years later, there was Paint Your Wagon, which was yeah, my favorite, great my favorite uh, musical comedy western with Clint Eastwood and you know in that plural <laughs> marriage thing. That was a really great so uh, movie. <clears throat> and Lee Marvin was singing through that right. for some reason. Yeah. I was we <laughs> will astonish. He, you know? he hit number one in England, I think, with that recording. Yeah. I'm sure he did. Uh, don't make fun of his he's singing. He's, he's made a lot more money singing it. than you have. Well, this is true. <laughs> Since I've I've made zero money singing. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. You made money singing. Uh, Kent, you want to do uh, the poo corner thing? Sure. So. I got to tell you, I came across an article, uh, an interview with Kenny Loggins. I got to tell you this story. He wrote this song when he was 17. And uh, he, he was going around the circuit playing songs with other musicians. And the Nitty Gritty Dirt Band heard it and said, we want to record this and put it on our album. And he said, sure. And then he gets a call from uh, the guy that's the head of the Nitty Gritty Dirt Band. And he goes, you know, the Disney lawyers are all over us on this thing. They think that they own Winnie the Pooh. All the Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> and so he was really dejected, and he went on a date that night, and he told his date, I I'm sorry, I'm not going to be very good company, and let me tell you why. She says, hang on for a second. She goes home, sees her father, who is the CEO of Disney, and says, <laughs> let's fix this. Now that's a girlfriend. <laughs> so that's the story of the song. Who wow. was the CEO when Kenny Loggins was 17? That's pretty cool. <laughs> Do you know? I don't know. It'd have to be who was the CEO back in 1970 or 71. Yeah. Wasn't it Disney himself? No. Oh, I didn't know that. And he didn't know she was connected like that? No. Ah, that's hilarious. Whoa. Well, I started that story, but I just ran out of steam. So I'm sorry I didn't read it all the way through. <laughs> thanks for sending that anyway. Or thanks for the summary. That's even better than me reading the whole article. <laughs> I, I find it, sometimes the stories behind the songs are better than the songs themselves. Right. And, yeah. and I'm about yeah. to demonstrate that. <laughs> okay, here we go. 
Christopher Robin and I walked along under branches lit up by the moon, posing our questions to Al, ah, Al and Eve, for as our days disappeared all too soon. But I've wandered today much far, wandered much farther today than I should. And I can't find my way back to the woods, so help me if you can. I've got to get back to the house at Oak Corner by one. You'd be surprised, there's so much to be done. Count all the bees in the hive. Chase all the pods from the sky. Back to the days of Christopher Robin and Winnie the Pooh doesn't know what to do, a honey jar stuck on his nose. He came to me asking help and advice, and from here no one wrote he goes. So I sent him to ask of the owl he's there, how to loosen a jar from the nose of a bear. So That's a good little song. Right. Very well. Thank you. Very good. So All right. that, was, that was a fun song. And I guess I'm thinking uh, maybe I've never read any of those books or maybe even seen any of the Disney movies. But uh, is uh, is that the same owl that told me how many licks to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? <laughs> uh, probably was moonlighting for that. <laughs> Oh, those Winnie the Pooh, oh my goodness, those early Winnie the Poohs were just so wonderful. wonderful. Our kids watched them over and over. It was so gentle, you know, it wasn't like all this blah, 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 you know, this like hyper, like, you know, very... No gunfights. No gunfights. No wonder I never saw it. I never saw the movie, <laughs> but I've read the books about a million times to all my well, little yeah, brothers yeah. and my son and my grandson. I had a little, like little trivia back. now. I yes, just sir. looked it up, and the Oracle of All Knowledge, the Internet, Wikipedia, <laughs> yeah. says that uh, the, pres the the CEO of Disney in 71, it could have either been Roy O. Disney, the older brother of Walt, yeah. co-founder of the Disney company, or Don Tatum, who took over in October 71 <laughs> and uh, was the first non-family member to, Ooh, to run yeah. the company. So, so i got to think it's probably Tatum, not yeah, Disney. Yeah, me too. Because oh. otherwise he would not the Disney name would have been a dead giveaway, you know. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> right. Well, there you I'm go. Dating a girl named Disney. I wonder what she thinks about wow. too. Too. <laughs> uh, oh, you great. know, this year for the first time in several years, Eeyore's birthday party is returning. Uh, oh, really? Yeah. All right. I'll make uh, another embarrassing admission. I've never been to Eeyore's birthday party. Eeyore's I've birthday been. party was started by a group of us in. The, James Ayer's English class in the late 60s. I was one of the first people to go to Eeyore's birthday party. There were wow. a lot of peanuts. I, I went wow. exactly once. Yeah. 
Exactly. I never thought I of that. Right. At a donkey 80 or something. Alley, he had one keg of beer, and then <laughs> yeah. the thing exploded, and I never... I think you're talking about a different Eeyore's party. No, it's the same Eeyore's. It's what <laughs> evolved out. Like everything else in Austin, something sweet and simple and small blew up into Run keg of beer. That's definitely not... <laughs> into drum circles and face painting. Yeah. <laughs> All in every day. Vanny appeared. Vanny Hi, appeared. You, I have to go. Okay. See you, Walter. Bye, Walter. Bye, Walter. Bye, Walter. Bye, Walter. Take Bye, Walter. care. Bye, Walter. Take care. <laughs> Paulette, that's amazing. I I never yeah. thought I'd be in the presence of such fame to be one of the original <laughs> attendees. Me too. <laughs> You're in the presence of greatness. I remember somebody yeah. put flowers on the donkey. It was very sweet. That's hilarious. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, let's see. Do you remember what prompted it in the first place? Besides the marijuana, conversation you mean? about Winnie, yeah, probably about <laughs> Winnie the Pooh. Yeah, right. <laughs> in class one day, I don't know. They ran out of excuses to drink. Yeah, that was probably <laughs> it. But somebody knew where to get a donkey, and I think that's what set the whole thing off. <laughs> wow, <laughs> that's funny. Mm. Oh boy. Uh. Barbara, you want to go? Okay. This is you, right? Yes. Uh -huh. So it was written in 1931, I was surprised to find out. Uh, and also, um, huh. besides Pat Boone, which we all may be familiar with him singing it, uh, Patsy Klein sang it also, and a bunch of other people. But Okay, Love Letters in the Sand. I'm stopping. Can you hear me? Is that what's the sound like? I'm sorry, I didn't do a sound check. Okay, alrighty. On a day like today, we pass the time away, writing love letters in the sand. How you? I'd come up with a happier song. It's still the beach song. <laughs> we There's a lot of brown nice in the morning. We're at the beach. It's but, um... hard to avoid. <laughs> uh, Vani, did you have a song? Hi. Hey. Yes, I I did have a song. I sent it to you. Oh, when did you send it? <laughs> I sent it well past. Eight o'clock. 
Oh, well, awesome. at seven o'clock. Oh, time. you should have made her vote first. Like you just. I didn't, I didn't join at seven. I joined at seven thirty or forty. So. Hold on a second. I I got the email. Let me just. Uh... I was. We were I just talking about marijuana, eight. so this song will fit right in. <laughs> <laughs> No one is offended by it. No, I don't think so. Probably not. <laughs> nice background. There you go. Hi, women. I've never heard this song, I don't think. Ready? Okay. I was a high woman and a mother from my youth. For my children, I did what I had to do. My family left Honduras when they killed the Sandinista. We followed a coyote through the dust of Mexico. Every one of them except for me survived. I was a healer, I was gifted as a girl, I laid hands upon the world. Someone saw me sleeping, naked in the noon sun. I heard witchcraft and the whispers, and I knew my time had come. The bastards hung me at the Salem Gallows Hill. I sat down on the ground I was bound for Mississippi My mother asked me If that ride was worth my life And when the shots rang out I never heard the sound But I am still around You can go to the second page actually right again and again and again and again and again I was a preacher my heart broke for all the world but teaching was unrighteous for a girl in the summer I was baptized in the mighty Colorado. In the winter, I heard the hounds and I knew that I'd been found. And in my Savior's name, I laid my weapons down. But I am still around. We are the high women and sing of stories still untold. We carry the sons you can only hold. We are the daughters of the silent generation. You send our hearts to die alone in foreign nations. And they return to us as tiny drops of rain. But we will still remain. And we'll come back again, and again, and again, and again, and again. Yeah, that's it. Thank you. Thank you. That was gorgeous, Bonnie. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah, that's, that's a fantastic song. Nice. That was super, Bonnie. That was really super. Yeah, I hadn't heard it in ages. Where did you find this song? Beautiful. By the song. band called The High Women, and they're nice. Uh, five women in country music who banded together. 
So, so it's not about marijuana, is it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Start surviving. Oh, Marty, you're muted. I said it does have something to do with marijuana if it had anything to do with Willie. Yes. I, I, well, that's a great point. That's exactly what I was thinking. I know this melody from somewhere. Well, <laughs> no, I mean, the, 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 Willie and, and, and the, his little troop were the highwaymen. Right. And yep. these are the high, high women who are completely different. Yeah, but the men did a song with exactly, exactly that tune. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And that's same true. theme. Yeah, yeah. And it was it's, rewritten with a women's theme for this. With a, with, yeah, with, from a women's viewpoint. There you go. Yep. Uh, that was a really great song. I, I didn't that know. was a great song. Yeah. Absolutely. I'm going to... I'm going to try to go through the entire album. So this was the first time. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Okay. I think that's a all great right. theme. I think we should all consider picking an album and playing every yeah. song on the album. That sounds great. I like that idea. Well, they're not all easy Abbey to Road. sing, you know, so it's like, maybe I'll skip no. <laughs> I practiced the first two tracks. So. I think I think we should do that for extra credit. Anybody who wants extra credit can do that. Oh, <laughs> extra credit. <laughs> How about three out of five? <laughs> okay, maybe. I can't think of an album I could sing all the songs on. Well, how That's about why one just, side well, of the album? Just one, one side. This was, Remember, there used to be yeah. records with two sides? Yes, I, yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I actually have some. Of what? With CDs, they're all one side now. Uh, right. That's a CD. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I knew he was gonna say that. Oh, it, it was this round, shiny thing you got from AOL. Right. Yeah. It's the thing you're it's using like as a coaster, tree. Paul. It's a it's a plastic eight track tape. Oh, yeah. so you don't have to rewind. Got it. That's right. right. Got it. Got it. Right. All right. Ah, <laughs> oh, Well, I'm watching a a series called American Gods. And it is stranger than strange, uh, but it has some interesting music on it. It has some cuts by Johnny Cash that I have never ever heard, and I'm I'm thinking about looking them up and seeing if I can at least play a couple of them. Good. So, all right. Um, my favorite Johnny Cash recording was "Hurt." It just kills yeah. me every time I hear it. Yeah, but it's a cover yeah. of. So, oh, no, there's nine yeah. inch nails. I don't know. I'm drawing a blank. Yeah, today. nine inch nails. Yeah. Have you heard? Well, I mean, with maybe. Bob Dylan. John no. Bob Dylan. Have you heard his duet? Um, uh, I've heard of it. them. I yeah, haven't I heard so. them yeah. particularly. I think it's Bob Dylan's Nashville Train Coming or whatever that. Album Skyline, yeah. Yeah. yeah, National Skyline, and I think there's a duet with Johnny Cash on there. Okay. I think that's the one. Okay. And the, well, I mean, amazing. anything that Johnny Cash sings, whether it's the cover or not, is worth listening to. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah this one is for sure. But it's funny because the way they, the way the song ends, it's almost like the two of them were just singing their own songs just together. Right. right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just sort of oh just well we'll land here for the hell of it yeah <laughs> no yeah, i'm gonna sing some up, more i'm gonna go down and it, whatever <laughs> the, why does that not surprise me <laughs> um gary and paulette y'all ready to do your song sure. You sure. i think you're the last yeah okay if i can get a chair hold on Come You made me cry when you said goodbye. Ain't that a shame? Slow, well, my tears fell like rain. Ain't that a shame? You're the one to blame. You broke my heart when you said. We thought ain't that a shame My tears fell like rain Ain't that a shame You're the one to blame Oh well, goodbye Although
when you said goodbye. Ain't that a shame? My tears fell like rain. That's what happens when you don't practice. And you don't drink enough beer, Phelps. (laughs) 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 Oh, was I unmuted? Was I? Did you you hear me play? Oh, good. Fine. Yeah. Uh, Well, anyway, um, Tom is listening in the background, so he's he's. He said you put us to shame. Ah. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Let's see Gary's solo. So. Anyway, well, Christine, be sure to stick out the happy hour because I brought the bat song this time. Oh, oh, good. Because of you, because you said you wanted to hear it again. Oh, good. Okay, good, good, good. Time to get a beverage of your choice, then. That's right. Straight whiskey. (laughs) Hey, Paul, when you. Big glass of whiskey. Oh, Paul, we you bet you. for the songs that had to do with time. Yeah. That's uh, did did you just want one that was called time? I mean, what about parsley, sage, rosemary, and thyme? When I was doing time songs, which was inspired by Mary Jane, of course, I was only looking for songs with the whole title of the song was just one word. Oh, okay. Time. That's what. I, oh, okay, all right. Okay, Christine, start on that then. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to develop the time part, the time song. The T H Y. Time and Jill. Yeah. I like that. That's great. Okay. (laughs) Um, I have to go, everybody. Thank you a lot. Bye, Fred. See you, Fred. 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 Danny, that was a great song. Yeah, I'm going to head to see you. See you, Kent. Okay. Okay. Bye, Bye, Kent. Oh, well, let me join the stampede. Uh, I'm too, playing out of town tomorrow, so I gotta like check in and all that kind of stuff here tonight. Okay. <laughs> See you, Gary. Bye bye. Uh, and I'll be gone a couple weeks, two weeks, so I shall right. return. Okay. Bye bye. Hundred week, I guess. I hope. <laughs> yeah. See ya. Where was he going to? I missed that. I don't think he said where. He was just going oh. out of town. Get your picture. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go in April. I can't wait. Yay! Where are you going? Turkey. Wow. Turkey. Yeah. Yeah. It just happens to be near the war. (laughs) (laughs) Be careful. (laughs) All right. Let me teach you the phrase. Sin bibinim akadashim. Oh no, Marty. (laughs) What does that mean? I'm not gonna say it till I know. (laughs) That means you and I are friends. (laughs) <laughs> are you sure that's what it means Marty? i'm sure <laughs> look it up before you go just be sure yeah <laughs> been a who taught you that <laughs> i lived a year in turkey oh. did you when i was in the air force oh so you said that I, to everybody you met in mirhaba that's hello Merhaba. and uh what that sounds like what you want to tell putin <laughs> That's what you got to say to Putin. Allah is in there. It's like, you know, you can imagine. Right. It's not positive about Allah. No, Allah right. will curse you. Oh, gee. I'm not going to say that. No, no, you don't. <laughs> don't say that. But no. send me bin a makadashim. That's you're okay. What part of Turkey are you going to? Not the north part, just in the south. Um. You yeah, going to the excited. beach? Going to the no, Mediterranean? No beach. Oh. Because the south has lots of good beaches. I know, on the Mediterranean, right? I would have liked to go to the Black Sea as well, but no. 
Not a good time to go to the Black Sea, no. Well, they've already occupied Crimea, which is, right. you know, it's a peninsula into the Black Sea. And then they're going from there. But, but I think I just read that um, Turkey might be forced to ally with Russia. Um, yeah. Well, if they do, Turkey that'll be... Telling, yeah. That's going to be big, big news because they've been an ally of ours for a long time. I was heard that Turkey no, was I know, banning but Russian warships from going through the the Bosphorus there. It was an article in the in, on CNN um, on their website that my friend sent me. Hmm. Um, Eek. There's some I don't know I don't know if it's if it's going to happen. It says how a 1936 treaty could force Turkey to take sides. Actually. I didn't. I don't know if they'll take Ukraine's. I mean, Russia's side. It says to take sides. Talk a lot of 1936 treaties have probably been abrogated by now. <laughs> no, I'm excited. I've been wanting to go to Turkey for a long time. So yeah. I was like, <laughs> when I picked it, there was no war on. So. It's not like I knew about it and I went. I guess I sort of knew there were rumblings, but I didn't think it would happen. You'll be all right. It won't go as far as Turkey. I've, I think people have made claims like that before. I know, I'm not even saying anything. But I did. I remember I went to... You're old uh, enough to know better than that, Marty. <laughs> I think... We got a lot of cards to play before it gets to the southern end of Turkey. Yeah. Okay. Maybe it'll take a while to get there, but I'm not saying it's not it's going to spread. This looks. I'm bad. not saying it's never going to happen. I'm just saying she'll get her vacation in before anything happens. I'll bet. <laughs> I it's, so. at, it's at the end of April, so <laughs> it's still got time to get there. Yeah, it does have time to. I went to. to I went to Zimbabwe in September of. 2000 which is when there were a lot of there was a lot of civil strife in the country and the farmers were getting killed and and it was very and 75 percent of the tourism got canceled people canceled they said we don't want to go and i said nah, i'm gonna go and uh it was totally fine for many reasons you know where the fighting is is not where you are to look at animals and where you're going and doing camping and stuff like that so you never encountered it but the good the good part of it was the camps were all empty i mean it was just i remember i was at one camp on the zimbabwe side of the zambezi and you know um, zambia is on the other side and there was i think eight tents and i was the only one in camp that night wow it was really like didn't have any cameras like this, but as we sat down to dinner across the river, was the biggest herd of elephant that came down to drink <laughs> on in Zambia. That's cool. And yeah, it was pretty cool. You know what town you're going to in Turkey? Going to several towns and starting in Istanbul and Sort of making our way east and then ending up in the south going to cappadocia valley and then ending up in izmir not constantinople <laughs> yeah exactly i'm not going to be singing song. that song <laughs> there's a great song like that you guys have heard oh yeah, yeah. We used to play it yeah it's a good one. <laughs> yeah i'm still thinking if i should take my ukulele or not but <laughs> Well, I just just uh, looked it up. It's uh, 1,600 kilometers from Kiev to Izmir. It's <laughs> a pretty good, pretty long way. Well, now they fly around, no? So it's not <laughs> like. <laughs> How long does it take a supersonic fighter jet to get from one place uh, to the yeah, other? Yeah, yeah. Twenty minutes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay. So you'll be a 20 minute drive from the front. All right. <laughs> I'm, I, I, I can't picture myself saying I'm camping 20 minutes from the Russian front. That just doesn't really? sound right. It's insane. I know, but now we're already like committed. Yeah. 
Yeah. There's commitment and then there's commitment. You didn't get trip insurance? I'm thinking life insurance. Yeah, exactly. I'll have really good insurance for like limb, loss of limb and loss of... (laughs) But most, of head. Policies, <laughs> most policies have exclusions for acts of war, so be careful. Read the fine print. I know you're not covered. Well, I mean, trip insurance you can just cancel, you know, if you yeah, freak right. out. But she doesn't want to cancel. She's going I don't to want to cancel. Vanny? If I come back in May, you know, you'll know everything's fine. Okay. okay. If you don't come back in May, we're going to get really, really worried. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay, Paul, I think we should do the first beer time song to kind of recoup ourselves. Okay. Okay. I like that last one. That was awesome. Very sweet. It sounded a lot better this afternoon. That's all. Anyway. Okay, let's wait for Brenda to return oh, yeah, and yeah, play yeah. that. While we're waiting, I'll try to do a better version of my song. Those are very strange chords, some of them. Yeah. Sounds great. All right. Yeah. Uh, Gary and Paulette, you're all ready to kick us off in the beer. Okay, I'm just using bars. Okay. Okay. Okay, this is Jamaica. Jamaica Farewell. Nights are gay and the sun shines gaily on the mountain top. I took a trip on a sailing ship and when I reached Jamaica, I made a stop. But I'm sad to say I'm on my way. I won't be back for many a day. But it's
That one was in honor Very of nice. Harry Belafonte, who turned 95 today. Oh. oh. <laughs> that was great. You know, I learned a little geography. I, I did that, not huh? know that Kingston Town was between May and Mexico. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> That's a really fun song to sing because it's got, you know, a repeated pattern, right. but the words are interesting. It's real relaxing. Yeah. I like that. Calypso. Calypso, yes, that was great. Now, what about singing Deo? Are you going to sing Deo? <laughs> Deo, 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 Deo. Daylight come we actually have I both those go. albums. My parents no, we could them. do Deo. That would be fun. Yeah. Hey, Mr. Tallyman, tally me tally banana. banana. Daylight come <laughs> yeah. Six foot, seven foot, eight foot <laughs> bunch. Daylight come Yeah. <laughs> That's I a lot of that bananas. Stuff. That's yeah. a lot of bananas. When I was 12. My grandson um, was, he only likes hip hop. He's four years old and he loves oh, no. rap and hip hop and he's like always twirling around and break dancing. And so I played the, you know, day oh, the day to the day and he went, ah! <laughs> you know? he thought it was awful. Our four year old grandson only likes the Beatles. Oh, yeah. well, that's, he can sing any Beatles song. That's kind of weird. Yeah, so that would great. be nice. Yeah, it is nice. Christine, does your was it your grandson that doesn't that only listens to hip hop? Yeah, yeah. Does his he favorite like, song? Uh, well, his favorite song is whoop da 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 da, da whoop. You know that song? <laughs> there it is. Whoop, there it is. Yeah, it's a great song. No wonder he likes it. That's a catchy song. <laughs> Um, does he like uh, Blondie? She did some really great rap. Yeah. Uh, I don't she think like, I played that for him. She was but, like the, yeah. the beginning of rap. She practically yeah. invented right, it. Right. 79. Yeah. Or I'll play him. that for him. I don't know if it, I liked Rapture when it came out. I can't get enough of it to this day. Yeah. That's a... So play him that. He actually does like Yellow Submarine. That's, that's, a good <laughs> one. that's one of the ones that's that good. hit, you know. <laughs> Not a total lost cause. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Mary Jane, you want to sing us about raps? Uh, bats? <laughs> yeah. Hey, bat song. Yeah, sure. Rats. Oh, I'm going to sing Okay. Now, I have done this song before, but it's been almost a year. I think it's been about um, 10 months since I did it. So maybe it'll be like a new song, and some of you might were, weren't there that time when I did it. <laughs> so it's just, it's about the Austin bat colony. So...
Christine, have you ever seen the bats take off from that bridge? No, oh, but I wonderful. It's amazing. I, I oh, saw some a bunch of bats over by Bee Cave. I, I never went under that bridge. Well, you can. There are um, boat rides on Town Lake. What do they call it now? Ladybird Lake. Ladybird Lake. And, yeah, uh, I went on one. It was good. Yeah, they're like electric boats, good. and you go yeah, down yeah. there and watch the bats take off from under the bridge. Uh -huh. I highly recommend it. Do they do that every night or during bat season? I do. Yeah. During bat season, it's probably getting on bat season right now, right? I guess it'll be about spring to yeah. to uh, September, right? Or August? Yeah, something like the song, that. November and October. Oh, well, maybe then. Sorry. I don't know. Were you not listening, Marty? You got to pay attention. Sorry. <laughs> I like that song, Mary Jane. That's cool. Minus I like 20 the points. Way you research everything. Yeah, that's great. Well, and and learn something. Well, that's his extra yeah, I had a, a kind of an obsession that the song ought to say something, you know, and, and but it was never anything about me or, you know, like a lot of songs talk about how broken hearted you are and, yeah. you know, how you're thinking about this or that. Yeah. But, I didn't write songs like that for the most part, but I wrote a bunch of environmentalist type songs and I'd see something that was a subject that was interesting to me. I felt like yeah. it deserved to be put into song. I like that one a lot. And a lot of people are so afraid of that and they don't realize what what they do and how they're helpful and all of that. So. You yep. just think, oh, that. <laughs> I think well, I'm that's one this reason song. I like this song. I think it's my favorite song that I ever wrote, and because I felt like I got into the bat's mind, you know, like I made right. some suppositions about what young bats are thinking, <laughs> which is yeah. certainly not. Can't wait to get to their Mexican uh, vacation. Yeah, <laughs> but I always feel. Re really good when we get to that part of the song, you know. I well, Mary Jane, what do, what do the bats do for fun? <laughs> they eat mosquitoes. <laughs> you're in the fly. you're in their mind. What do they what do they really really like? <laughs> oh, what do they really like to do? Eh. I, I like think the they like us, bugs, Marty. I think they like, they like other, the, the girl them. bats. <laughs> I think Marty's got. Yeah, no well, point. But they're gonna. The females are are mostly the ones that do the migrations. I think a lot of the males stay behind in Mexico. I didn't know that. 
Yeah, the men are lazy. That makes sense. <laughs> it's not, you know, some some of them come, I think. I don't think it's 100%, but that's, they go back and then they may, well, they're back there. Yeah. And then they, they come back. And where, then, Do you know where they go in Mexico? Well, I couldn't name the place, but it is known, you so what, know, by what, scientific uh, people. <laughs> is it like southern Mexico or northern Mexico? Well, I don't think it's northern Mexico. It's somewhere it's a long in the way. middle of Mexico, I think. Okay, according oh. to Visit Austin, starting it in late March and continuing, continuing through early fall, that's that's when the bats begin to wake up and start their night flight around sunset. What did I say, <laughs> Paul? <laughs> what? What did you say? I don't know. I wasn't listening. Already had it now. I said, it. said from about now till uh, September or so. Right. You know well, what? I think Mary we need Jane a bat sang in her trip. song that it was October or November night. Was, they take off. If they're taking off from Not somewhere in the middle, going yeah, to Mexico. I, I think it's usually uh, more October because they're trying to get out of here before it's cold here. Exactly. They come back when it, they think it's warm here. Which is the end of March. The, the winter. What kind of a lifespan do they, they have? The <laughs> it's what they're, they're searching for here. Okay, uh, Brenda, were you looking it all up? What's the average yeah. lifespan of a bat? Well, I'll <laughs> tell you. <laughs> we so, learned everything at this. <laughs> this I, is I wonderful. think that uh, this summer, assuming that COVID allows it, we ought to go as a group on one of the boat rides and sing I think this so song. Too. Yeah, be yeah, ukuleling down the river. Play a, play a bat song. Yeah, <laughs> yeah this, this is one that I pretty much have memorized, too. That's, I've sung it at talent shows. If we're going to go on the boat trip. we got to learn that song. All of us need to learn it. 13 right. to 18 years. Do it in 18 me. years? What? Yeah, the Mexican oh. free tail bat is usually 13 to 18 years and 12 oh, females. Ooh. Whoa. Who produce, produce one offspring oh, per year? Creature that... wow. Oh man, not as long lived as a cat. Yeah. <laughs> no, but they fly a lot better than cats do. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Well, yay to the bat song. Yeah. Yeah. Really. Um. I mean, bats and possums both both get a really bad rap, and they're very, very useful creatures. We need a bridge with possums hanging under it, then. <laughs> yeah. We're bridging the song about. Well, a possum will a possum will eat its weight in ticks. Oh. They 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 are very they're worth something. And they and they don't and they don't generally carry rabies either. By the way. So well, they're, they're good. They're, they're very good. A lot of musicians live under bridges too. Yeah, <laughs> with the possums. Oh, but I don't think they with carry babies either. With the free tail bats, yes. <laughs> wow. Well, it looks like we've kind of run to the end. I think I'm going to cruise. Yeah, I, I got so. I got one yeah. more song if you want to hear it. Oh, oh. Okay. I thought you already played your second yay, song. Yay. You played your first one again. I just played the first one a couple of times till I felt like I was about as good as it was going to get. Well, play away, dude. It's always a pleasure. <laughs>
the sky You'll get by If you'll smile Through your fear and sorrow Smile And maybe Shining through for you. Light up your face with gladness. Hide every trace of sadness. Although a tear may be ever so near. That's the time that you must keep trying. Smile, what's the use in crying? You find that life is still worthwhile if you just smile. Find that life is still worthwhile if you'll just smile. That was beautiful. That's very nice. Nicely done. Wow. Beautiful. That's sort of a. I used an other uh, something else as the intro to that song. Something that I sort of a scale exercise I've been using. So. Anyway. That's the saddest happy song I I've know, ever isn't heard. It? I just love that. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I think so too. That's great. Well, that really, really sounded great. good, Paul. Thanks. Yeah. All well, right. Good night, everyone. Thank you for the Bye. good music. Yeah. Good night, everybody. Later. Good night. Good night. Planet when good night. Again. Ha. Yes. Wishful All thinking. Right. Good night. See ya. Yeah. Thanks, Paul.